When people hear the word ventilator, they often imagine a person lying unconscious in a hospital bed, hooked up to machines with no ability to communicate or interact. While this image may be common, it's not always accurate. In reality, yes, you can be awake on a ventilator. And for many patients, this experience, while intimidating at first, can be made more manageable through proper understanding, communication, and support from medical professionals. A ventilator is a machine designed to support or take over the work of breathing when a person cannot breathe adequately on their own. There are different ways this can be done. In some cases, a mask placed over the nose and mouth delivers pressurized air. This is known as non-invasive ventilation. In other cases, a tube is inserted through the mouth into the trachea or through a surgically created opening in the neck known as a tracheostomy. Depending on the situation and the type of ventilation, patients can remain awake, alert, and even communicate to some extent. Being awake on a ventilator can happen for several reasons. Some patients need short-term breathing support while recovering from an illness or injury but don't require full sedation. Others may be gradually weaning off mechanical ventilation and are kept awake to assess their ability to breathe independently. In many modern ICU settings, there's a growing trend toward awake ventilation in carefully selected patients. This approach aims to reduce the complications associated with deep sedation and prolonged mechanical support, such as delirium, muscle weakness, or longer hospital stays. Of course, being awake while a machine helps you breathe can be unsettling. Patients often describe the sensation as strange or uncomfortable, like their body is out of sync with the ventilator. However, medical teams are trained to adjust the machine's settings so that it supports natural breathing rhythms as much as possible. In some cases, medications are used to help patients stay calm without putting them completely to sleep. The goal is to keep them comfortable enough to tolerate the ventilator while still being alert and cooperative. Communication is one of the biggest challenges when a patient is awake and intubated. If a breathing tube passes through the vocal cords, as with traditional intubation, speaking becomes nearly impossible. Patients may need to rely on writing, pointing, hand signals, or communication boards to express themselves. If a tracheostomy is used and the patient is stable, a special device called a speaking valve can sometimes be placed to allow speech. Nurses, respiratory therapists, and family members often work together to find the best way for the patient to communicate effectively. It's important to understand that being awake on a ventilator is not a sign that the person is less sick or not in need of serious medical care. It simply means that their condition, medication plan, and overall management allow them to be conscious and engaged. For many patients, staying awake offers the benefit of remaining oriented and involved in their care, which can improve outcomes. Being able to follow instructions, perform breathing exercises, or even participate in physical therapy can help speed up recovery and reduce complications. Still, it's not always easy. The sensation of having a tube in your airway, being unable to speak, and relying on machines to breathe can feel overwhelming. That's why compassionate care, reassurance, and patient education are so critical. Healthcare professionals closely monitor patients and offer both physical and emotional support during this challenging time. So, in summary, yes, you can be awake while on a ventilator. And while the experience varies from person to person, advances in medicine, along with thoughtful care, have made it increasingly possible for patients to stay conscious and comfortable while receiving life-saving respiratory support. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.